Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to episode 2, a step-by-step -step tutorial for drafting a double-breasted back panel. Without wasting time, ladies and gentlemen, let us get started to our practical class. Get me there. Step 2A, establishing the back panel lens. This Draw one vertical line on one side of your pattern paper or fabric. This will represent the center back guideline. At the top of your pattern paper or fabric, draw one horizontal line. This will represent the neck and shoulder guideline. Label this point A and it will be the starting point for most of the coat calculations. Now, let us determine other six horizontal lines that are needed for the back. First is to determine coat length stroke hemline. Measure and mark downwards from starting point A to B your coat length plus 0 0.5 inches length is. In this tutorial, my coat length is 29 inches. I add 0 0.5 inches length is giving me 29.5 inches. Another line to be determined is hem allowance line. Measure and mark downwards from hem line B to C 1.5 inches for hem allowance. Next is to determine the chest line height. Measure and mark downwards from starting point A to D. Your chest measurement divide by 4. My chest measurement in this tutorial is 38 inches when I divide by 4, giving me 9.5 inches. Once we have determined coat full length and chest line height, next is to determine the belly, tummy, stroke, stomach, or at times you can say narrow waistline. Measure and mark downwards from starting point A to E your exact coat full length divided by 2 plus 2 inches. My exact coat full length is 29 inches. I divide by 2 giving me 14.5 inches. I add 2 inches giving me the total of 16.5. Last but not the least is to determine across back height line. Measure and mark upwards from chest line D to F, your chest measurement divided by 24. My chest is 38, divided by 24, giving me 1.5 inches. Then lastly is to determine the shoulder drop. Measure and mark downwards from starting point A to G, your chest measurement, divide by 24. My chest measurement still is 38, I divide by 24, giving me 1.5 inches. we are done, we continue to step to B, shaping the center back. Come to across back line height. Measure inwards from point F to 3, 0 0.125 inches. At the chest line, measure inwards from point D to 4, 0 0.5 inches. At the belly line, measure inwards from point E to 5, 1 inch. Then, at the hemline, measure inwards from B to 6, 0 0.75 inches or 
one inch but for this tutorial let me mark inwards one inch at the hem allowance line measure inwards from c to 7 0 0.75 inches or one inch still for this tutorial i'm marking one inch that means b to six is the same as c to seven now connect point three four five six and seven together with a line to create center back shaping Step 2C, drafting the neckline and shoulders. Consider the style of your blazer when deciding on the neckline. A classic notch or a more contemporary shawl collar can add a distinct character to the back panel. Now, measure and mark inwards from starting point A to 1. Neck with this, your chest measurement divide by 12. My chest measurement is 38. I divide by 12, giving me... 3.16 So measure and mark upwards from neck with this point 1 to 2 your neck depth which is chest measurement divided by 48 my chest 38 divided by 48 giving me 0 0.79 inches then join point 2 to A with a curved line like this. Next is to determine shoulder width. Measure and mark inwards from point G to H. Your shoulder to shoulder measurements divide by 2 plus 0 0.5 inches for seam allowance. My shoulder to shoulder measurements is 17 inches. I divide by two, giving me 8.5 inches. I add 0 0.5 inches for seam allowance, giving me nine inches. Now, connect point H to two with a straight line to create shoulder slant line. Try creating some curves slightly like this. Next, let us add personality to the back panel. That is step 2D. Let us first determine the basic with this shape of the back by adding calculated body measurements. Come to at across back stroke arm line rise. Measure and mark inwards from point F to your chest measurement divided by 4 minus 1 inch. That is my chest 38 inches. I divide by 4 giving me 9.5 inches. I minus 1 inch giving me 8.5 inches. Also measure and mark outwards from point I to 8 0 0.5 inches for seam allowance. Now, come to the belly line. Measure and mark inwards from point 0.5 to J. Your belly measurements divide by 6 plus 0 0.5 inches for seam allowance. My belly measurements is 35. I divide by 6, giving me 5.8 inches. I add 0 0.5 inches for seam allowance, giving me 6.3 inches. At the hemline stroke hip line, square and mark inwards from 0.6 to K. What you got from point 0.5 to J plus 
0.75 inches. That is your bed measurements divided by 6 plus 0.5 inches plus 0.75 inches giving you 6 to K. At the hem allowance line, just square what you got from 6 to K to 7 to L. Then, connect point I to H together with a straight line to create back arm line rise. Connect point H, J, K and L together with a line to create a back side seam line. Last but not the least is to finalize the details of the back part and the vent options. You may choose a single vent, double vent or opt for a ventless design. Tailoring these details enhances both the aesthetics and functionality of your blazer. Now, let us opt for side vent. Measure and mark upwards from point K to 9. Side vent height 9 inches. Also from 9 to 10, vent width is 2 inches. From K to 11 is the same as 9 to 10. Okay, there we go. Next is adding seam allowances. Before finalizing your pattern, add seam allowances to ensure defined construction. Review the entire back panel for evenness and make any necessary adjustments for a sound fit. Mark out seam allowance at the center back and mark in seam allowance on the sides. Mark the notches for alignments and details for style. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Congratulations, you have successfully drafted the back panel of your blazer coat. These essential components set the stage for a well-fitted and stylish garment. Now, you are ready to move on to the drafting of other elements like the front and the side panel, bringing your blazer to life. Thank you for watching. Happy drafting. For more sewing tutorials and fashion inspirations, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. See you in the front drafting side. Bye-bye. God bless you all. Shalom. Stay motivated and I sign up.